I have decided to continue to teach. And the one thing that um, I've been thinking about is to give people the true teachings of the Vedas in scientific terms so that there is a proper revival of the Vedas and how valuable the Vedas are. The topic that I'm going to teach, the, the main theme, is going to be prosperity through enlightenment. It's going to be a, a week-long program. And explaining the meaning and practice of enlightenment, which unfortunately came to be associated with asceticism, uh, recluse life, renunciation, and uh, saffronism. Not that I don't approve of or, uh, or who am I to approve of or disapprove of it. I, I, I revere these concepts. But for purposes of day-to-day uh, -day living, it has to be, enlightenment has to be defined differently in keeping with the understanding of the Vedas. So what is enlightenment? Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya this is Brahadar Neopanishad. And it was supposed to be uh, chanted uh, during the Soma sacrifice. And the Vedic races were into life extension. That's why this Mrityo uh, Maj uh, Amritam Gamaya. has a lot of implications, but I am, that's not the topic that I'm going to talk about. It is about Tamasoma Jyotir Kamaya. Tamas is, uh, you know, translated in English as ignorance, but I have my own definition of ignorance. You know, those of you who are following me know the ignorance is that which has been ignored. There is no totality of knowledge. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Again, Jyotir is, uh, is a fantastic term. You know, uh, I want to talk about it because what it's going to do in Guru Purnima is uh, to reveal the significance of enlightenment, which is Jyoti. And uh, this Jyoti is not even, even the sunlight. It is beyond it. It is the inner light. And acquiring this inner light, Swami Ramalingam would say, it is Arut Purum Jyoti and would define our role as our inner nature and in our inner uh, intelligence, which has the ability to do everything, omniscience, omnipotence and omnipresence are all our own uh, inheritance from, from God. So how Jyoti can reveal that uh, incredible life 
not only reveal but make one to live that unlimited life. And uh, Swami Ramalingam would declare, Ellam sail gudum, enane embalate, ellam balantane yet. Everything can be translated into action. Sail kudum. It's not just lip service. It's the ability to see everything in, trans in three dimensional uh, reality. That's a reality that's not just Maya. It is Maya too. Vishnu is Maya, but he's also the one who created this three dimensional reality as well. And that it's a matter of understanding Maya. It's also a matter of understanding Jyoti. And to put it in simple terms, it is as the title I have given for this workshop, the one, one week immersion, prosperity, which is Vishnu, who is Maya, which is Lakshmi, which is Maya. Through enlightenment, so the enlightenment is not against prosperity or maya. I just decided, it was not my decision, it is the decision of God that I should reveal that to people to give a proper understanding of spirituality. Spirituality is not a, loser, a loser's proposition. It is a winner's proposition. This seminar or workshop will give you an alternative to think about, not only to think about, but to experience. Uh, just mark your calendar for the Guru Purnima event in San Diego. And it will also be partially uh, be available on, a, on the webcast for those of you around the world who want to be benefited by this teaching. God bless.